In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Runway's video to video. I'll show you loads of incredible visual styles you can create, how to edit your videos to mix in with real footage, just like this. I'll show you how to turn simple homemade props into any visual style, how you can use camera filters to change your facial features, and much more. Okay, let's get into it. I've also left a free document down below containing all the different style prompts I've used for this video, so feel free to check that out. Alright, so to get started, let's jump on the website and click on this Get Started button. They have added the video to video feature in the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo as well now, and it's cheaper to use. Plus, it allows you now to do portrait style videos as well as landscape. From my testing, the credit cost is five times the amount of the video length. So if your video length is four seconds, it will cost 20 credits. And if your video is eight seconds, it will cost 40 credits. Opposed to the Gen 3 Alpha model, which is 100 credits for 10 seconds and 50 credits for five seconds. But remember, if you give it a six second clip, it will still use the 100 credits. So just make sure that you're five seconds or under if you want to use less credits. So I'll just do a really quick run through on how to use it and show you all the different styles that they provide. So all you have to do is drag in your video that you want to use in here. I'm using this video that I've already generated using Runway. So let's have a quick look at the settings. As you can see down here, there are some different styles you can use. And you can also see them if you click on examples. I'll just click apply to the 3D cartoon filter. And as you can see, it adds in the prompt for you. And where it says your prompt here, you can just write in what your video is about. So I've just put woman leaning on wall on a city street at night. And then the only other setting that you need to worry about is this structure transformation. When you click on one of their video styles, like the 3D cartoon one I just used, it will have a preset number on what it thinks will be best for this style. The higher the number on the slider will look less like your video, but have more of that visual style. Whereas the lower numbers will still have that visual style, but will closer resemble your video. So I'll go through and I'll generate a video for each different style that Runway provide in both high and low structure transformation settings. And then we'll see how different they look. If you do generate a video that you like the look of, you can copy that seed to then use in other videos to try get a similar visual result. Okay, so now let's have a look at all the different runway styles. So here is that video, but in 3D cartoon style. And as you can see, the low setting makes it look more like the original footage. Whereas the high setting definitely makes it look a bit more cartoony, but it still looks really good. And here we have the claymation style. And again, with the high setting, it's made the characteristics of the face a lot different. But I actually quite like it on this one. And here we have the dramatic style, and I think I prefer the low setting on this one as the high setting makes her look like a completely different person. It's got that really cool gritty film noir style look to it. And here we have glass style, which is pretty unique. It's done a really good job to make her look like she's actually made out of glass. And here we have line art style. It's got that kind of pop art style, but brought to life, and it looks pretty funky. And here we have makeup style. So this one works best at enhancing facial features. So as you can see, it's got lipstick and just added makeup to the character. And here we have monochrome style. So it's emulating that black and white film look. And I really love the look of the low one. As the high is a bit too dark, but you could always try a medium setting and see how that looks. And puppet style is definitely a fun one to play around with. Now the low one definitely looks more like the character, whereas the high setting has just made her yellow and completely different. It's a really fun style to play around with. And here we have retro style, which tries to emulate old kind of VHS style footage. And if you look closely on the high setting video, you can see it's added a kind of texture over the video. I've experimented with so many different styles that Runway doesn't provide, and there are some incredible results. So here is a quick montage of some of my favorite looks. And remember, you can download a free PDF with all the prompts that I used down below. 
And if you're struggling to create your prompts, I've been using this awesome video to video prompt creator in ChatGPT, which was created by the awesome YouTube channel Curious Refuge. All you have to do is type in a look that you want. So I just typed in comic book and it creates a pretty detailed prompt. It also provides the bit of text that says your prompt here, just like the runway prompts do. So just make sure to add in what your video is about in that section. So here's a test I did using that prompt, and I think it looks awesome. It did a really good job at nailing that kind of comic book look. I've made sure to leave the link to this prompt generator down below. Now let's have a look at green screen effects. So this is how you can work with a green screen. So I've got a green screen behind me, but I can take it out anytime. Just make sure you've got a clean plate of the footage that you want to be put into so that you can easily integrate it back into it. Just remember to add in green screen into your prompt. For example, on my prompts, I put on a green screen background so that runway knows there is a green screen in the shot and it won't fill it in with random stuff. So here are some examples of green screen footage that I've taken. And even in this one, I created a man on fire and added in some kind of smoke effects in the background. And I think it works really well. And in this one, I went for a boxing animation. And then I thought because I shot it on a green screen, I can completely change the background. So I ended up generating this image of inside of a boxing ring. And then I ran it through runway to create the video version of it. So then I took the green screen footage of the boxing animation and put it on top of the boxing ring footage. And it looks awesome. You could easily create kind of story scenes like this with your character. And in this shot, I even added some camera shake. And I'm blown away from the difference of me just recording in my house on a green screen to then superimposing it onto this footage. I'm really impressed with the results. Hi, my name is Jack. And I have this condition where every five to 10 seconds, I look completely different. As you can see, I keep changing and I just want to look normal again. Apparently the way to make me look normal again is to subscribe. So if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Whoa, I'm back to my normal self. Someone must have subscribed. Thank you so much. All right, back to the video. Now let's have a look at removing the green screen. There are different ways of getting rid of green screen footage. So I'll show you this way first in After Effects. You have to come down to Keying, select Key Light, put it on that layer, then use the Color Picker to select the green, and there you go, it's disappeared. You can do some fine tuning with all these settings here, but if you've got a well-lit green screen, it should get it out with one go. And then if you've got anything like here, where I've got the bits from outside of the green screen, you want to create a mask. So click on the Shape tool, and then drag around the area that you want to keep in. And there you go. It's got that runway video mixed in with real footage. And then if you want a free version of doing green screen effects, then you can use CapCut's online editor. All you have to do is upload your footage, click onto Smart Tools, remove background, and chroma key. Or you can do the auto removal. And then you can use the crop tool to make sure you've got those bits around the outside cropped out. And there you go. That is a free way to get your green screen footage onto a different background. Now let's have a look at using props to create videos. The great thing about this is you can use objects that are around your house or create your own. Here's footage of a wooden figure that I got at home and I wanted to turn it into a statue on top of a mountain and it did a pretty good job at converting it into that style. You can put a bit more time into composing your shots. I just did this very quickly. And here's some different styles of the video from the model lighthouse that I took. Each visual style that I've created is so different and that's what I love about this video to video. You never quite know what you're gonna get. And I even shot a video of my Lego Dune Ornithopter and turned it into a futuristic scene, which I think looks pretty cool. And here I just screwed up some red paper in my hand and blew it off. And I wanted to see if I could make it look like fire coming out of someone's hand. So here we have a wizard hand blowing out fiery embers and the lighting effects on it are pretty awesome. And here I have a giant's hand blowing out boulders. So you can get really creative with using things around your house. 
and then I decided to make some custom made props. So I just found some old cardboard bits, cut them up and sellotaped them together to make this very simple looking gun. And just as a test, I put a filter over this one and I even prompted it to have a screen on the gun and it actually worked. And then I decided I wanted to film a kind of sci-fi action scene. So I filmed myself in my garage with my snowboarding helmet on and the gun. I filmed it on my gimbal to get that cinematic movement and then prompted it with a sci-fi filter and it looks awesome. I'm really, really happy with how these turned out and I could easily make a short film using this kind of style. It just gives you all of the control over your props and the movement of your characters. And for this one, like you saw in the intro, I made a very simple cutout of a shield and dagger and I wanted to try create them in different styles and then cut them out. So these are some of the videos that Runway generated in different styles and then I rotoscoped the shield and dagger and put them back into the original footage. It's a really cool effect. So this means you can create props and have them in different styles and bring them back into real life footage. Which is a huge time saver as it only took me 5 minutes to create these props. Otherwise if I had to make them look like the filter it would have taken me hours. So here's how to do the rotoscoping. Okay, so let's say you don't have a green screen setup, but you still want to cut out a object in your video. You can use a tool like Rotobrush in After Effects. All you have to do is make sure the object that you want to cut out is on the top, select it, and then go to Rotobrush and select the object that you want to cut out. And then from there, you can do some fine tuning as sometimes it will miss spots. And you can also get rid of areas that you don't want to be in the selection. So once you're happy, just press this play button and it will render out all of the frames. And then you can watch it back to see if there's any mistakes in it. And if you do spot any mistakes, you can just go in and fix them. You can also click this button here so that you have a black background, which makes it a bit easier to spot mistakes. And then once you're happy with it, just click the freeze button. And now your runway video is placed upon your real footage. So it's pretty easy to do. You can also remove the background using runway. So you just come to this remove background tool, upload your video, and then select the object that you want to keep. And then you can use the exclude to get rid of anything that you don't want in there. And once you're done, you can do done masking and it should do it across the whole video. And then you just place the original footage underneath and export it. You can have fun experimenting with changing the visual style of your favorite films, cartoons, or video games. As you can see here, I took a really old clip from the Steamboat Willy animation and turned it into a claymation and a 3D cartoon. And it's done a pretty good job to be honest, considering the old footage was not the best quality. Now let's have a look at using face filters. So the face filters that I've been using are the ones that you can find on your smartphone app like Instagram, Snapchat or TikTok. And this allows you to create some really interesting facial filters to either distort your face or change it completely. And then you can run this through runway video to video to get some really interesting results. So as you can see here, I've got this really creepy filter which has distorted my face and the effects through runway look really creepy, but I'm really impressed with them. And this one here, which has made my face into a kind of Pixar CGI style. And I love the claymation and line art filters from runway. It's a really unique look. So make sure to go through your phone apps and experiment with different filters to create some really unique looks. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video and I hope you can see just how awesome this video to video feature is in Runway. I'm finding out new styles every day and it's just mind blowing what it can do and how far you can push it, especially with the green screen footage and creating your own props, which is extremely fun. If you have any cool ideas that you've used, please leave a comment down below. And remember to grab that free PDF with all the different style prompts that I've used. It would be awesome if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to watch any of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen.
Thanks for watching.